This is what 85 pounds of German Shepherd can do. <laughs> but here, these dogs are trained to bite on purpose. People don't realize, like, the only thing that dogs have to play with is their mouth. Right? So, like, yeah. give them the opportunity to play. That's the theory behind this not so run of the mill group that meets every Tuesday night at this training facility in Gardena. So, you drive 60 miles yeah. once a week to be here? Once a week. Luis Hernandez drives all the way from Palmdale with his four year old German Shepherd, Shamali, to be a part of the South Bay Working Dog Club. Just so he can get his bite work in because it builds up a lot of steam and they need to release it. Luis is one of 15 official members that have joined since certified professional dog trainers David Wright and his wife Karen Chan Wright started the club in 2016. It's geared toward working dogs like these German Shepherds, but also Malinois and sometimes Rottweilers, Dobermans, uh, pit bull types. Breeds meant to assist and protect. For an average dog owner, is this something that they should be looking into? If you have a dog that has a lot of energy and you have a dog who potentially likes to bite, because that's what they do here. Karen and David say all the dogs they work with have been evaluated and accepted into the club, which means they've already gone through obedience training. So most of the night is spent running real world scenarios to teach the dog what to do if the owner is in trouble. Here, this is what happens when Karen and her dog Moto are approached by these decoys, the guys in the bite suits. Eventually, one grabs her. Moto reacts as he's taught. We sort of teach them the how, the when, the what, and the why of biting. We give them something to focus on so that they're not uh, so crazy at home or you know on the streets. Karen and David say teaching a dog when to charge, bite, and when to let go is part protection and part sport. The group is certified by PSA, the Protection Sports Association. Not surprisingly, the Bite Club hasn't made fans of everyone, including the SPCA LA, which says, for the average dog owner, this is not an avenue that will create a well-socialized, calm and friendly pet. What do you want them to know? I just want them to know that we're not teaching the dogs to be aggressive. We're not uh, choosing dogs that are not built for this sport. If you have a dog who is already aggressive and you don't have any control over that dog, wouldn't it be better to put that dog in a position where the dog knows that it can do it? This is heavy. Safety for the decoys is another concern. This is Karen's bite suit. Yes, even this petite woman takes a bite from time to time. I don't do it often. I usually um, ask my husband to do it more than me. This whole suit is 30 pounds. The suit is thick and heavy, weighing 30 pounds. And though this looks ferocious and potentially deadly for most, David says the most decoys are left with are scratches and bruises. Far worth the payoff of training these pups. For me, I love the sport and kind of fell in love with it. And now I have a dog that loves it just as much as I do. Fuck. I guess taking a kid to go play baseball or whatever, you know, he has a good time. For Luis, the often four hour round trip he endures every week to be here has already paid for itself. Shamali is an award winning PSA member and much more than this man's best friend. I know him, somebody knocks and he goes off. That's when he knocks at the door, so everybody just steps away from the door. Remind me not to come knocking <laughs> at your door. In Gardena, Marla Tejas, Fox 11 News. Hey!